Are y'all getting back from the break in the afternoon? It's tired. Are you sleepy? Please don't sleep during my presentation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, welcome to Web AI Summit. I am Yuriko, and we're all the way here from Japan. <laughs> all right. Has is anybody here from outside of the U.S.? Raise your hand. Oh, half. Okay. half around half. Around yeah. half, like one yeah. third. Okay, we've got a quite of an international crowd. That's great. <laughs> Alrighty, anyways, we're here to present. And as I said, I'm Eureka from Google. And we have a very special guest from Cyber Asian, Kazunari san. So please introduce yourself. Yeah. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> My name is Kazunari, a developer expert in Cyber Agent. I am here from Tokyo. As you may know, Tokyo is famous for being one of the busiest cities in the world. Yeah, people in Tokyo are always in a hurry. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh, that's yeah. why. So, especially week, weekdays. Yeah, yeah, weekdays, yeah. And it's already Saturday there. Oh, they're moving but fast. Yeah, it's yeah, already but Saturday. But it's Friday here. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. So, that's why I, I have, I gained. I feel like I gained an extra day for this weekend. I'm <laughs> lucky. Yeah, I feel lucky. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. absolutely. Yeah, but you actually arrived like 24 hours ago. Ish yes, from yes, <laughs> so, but I'm okay. I'm not sleepy. Yeah, okay. I'm okay. Right? He's running on adrenaline. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Alrighty. So um, we're here to present, and we're actually so the theme for today is integrating AI features in an existing website. So that's the thing. So today we will specifically focus on Amoeba the real-life blogging service in Japan and how they actually utilize the client-side AI, the Gemini Nano, in Chrome. Yeah, first, let me introduce what kind of service Amoeba is. Amoeba is one of Japan's top blog services developed by CyberAgent. Amoeba has 75 million active users. And, and uh, these users include famous people like Kabuki, mm. stars, and the regular people like your neighbors. Mm. And Ameba is celebrating its 20th anniversary this year. Ooh. And I'm wearing special t shirts <gasps> oh. for the anniversary, right? Oh 20th. my god! 20th. <laughs> 20th anniversary, yeah, thank you. <laughs> that is a that is a huge milestone. And just a little bit of context about Amoeba, uh, for those who don't know. So Amoeba blogs are incredibly common in Japan. And the chances are, if you're a Japanese person or if you're in Japan living, I feel like you have seen, I don't know, maybe one, two, or many of the blogs that are actually hosted by Amoeba at some point in your life. So that's the context. And let me briefly introduce to you the Gemini Nano in Chrome as well, um, as it was introduced by Kenji and Thomas's talk in the previous um, talks. It is a built-in AI on Chrome that allows developers to access the Gemini Nano's uh, model's capabilities with the web platform APIs. So please check out the talks if you haven't seen it already. All right, so here is the prototype, the overview of the prototype that CyberAsian has created with Gemini Nano in Chrome. So here on the screen, it shows the blog drafting page where you can see the you know, draft of the blog in the text area. And on the right, this little button on the right top corner, you see generate blog title button. So what it does, here's the recording of what's going to happen when you click on this generate button. So a popover appears to provide the suggestions for the titles based on the blog dress that was in the text area. And what's more interesting is that you can add you know, additional flavors, like more creative or more formal, with the, but, uh, with the click of a button, where under the hood, it is running prompt with Gemini Nano in Chrome with the, with the added flavors. And you can also regenerate titles as you want. So pretty interesting, right? OK. <laughs> Thank you. All right. So now we will dive into why they chose the client-side AI. I feel everybody's interested to learn about that. So Kazunari san please yes. answer this million-dollar question. Why did you choose the client-side AI for your service? Yeah, this is a really good question. The sh <laughs> yes, the short answer uh -huh. is because we thought the client-side AI reduces friction for both developers and users. OK, let's dive deeper from the developer's point of view and the user's point of view. First, the developer's point of view. The client-side AI allows for free AI development. 
This means it's not only free of charge, but also free from worries about things like cost planning and AI model management and so on. Using clients and AI allows you to start development immediately without any preparation. This is really interesting because it looks like,、um, it sounds like the client side AI actually frees up the memory inside of a developer's brain in a way so that they can focus on more important stuff like user experience, right? And speaking of users, so I've heard that you have actually worked on Amoeba for more than 16 years. So that is a lot of you know, long years. <laughs> okay, a lot of months. Thank you. So, yeah, so 16 years, how has it been? Yeah, it's a really long time.、Mm -hmm. And at that time, no one was using the smartphones, right?、Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And、uh, yeah, it's an incredible journey how seeing Amoeba has improved over the years. That's true. I feel like you, know, you needed to adopt to the new user behaviors. Yeah, yeah. Yes, true.、Yeah. Exactly. And considering that, how does this、um, client side AI reduce the friction from a user's point of view? Okay, user's point of view. When I think about client side, side AI, AI, the greatest advantage it affords is iterability. Iterability, by definition, is the ability to repeat a process over and over again. Because the client side AI is cost free and highly, highly performant, users can run the AI as many times as needed until they are satisfied with the result. Take a look at this video. Here you can see that Gemini Nano in Chrome returns results in around 150 milliseconds. This is well within the ideal range for waiting the result.、Mm. In the new Huawei Vitals metrics, interaction to next paint, a response time of under 200 milliseconds is also defined as good. This is really, really interesting. So, this iterability, the new concept, is another interesting aspect of the client side AI because、um, we can technically run the same prompt over and over again with the server side models. But with the client side models, as you can see, it's super highly performant and it looks like there's literally minimum friction out there. So, this interesting concept of iterability, that's the keyword. How does it really contribute to the user experience, though? Like, how does it change the user behavior for the better, I hope? Yeah, to answer the question, let's consider the user flow when deciding on a blog post title.、Mm. Typically, bloggers think about the title after they have written most part of the blog post. Of course, if a good title comes to mind beforehand, it might be decided early on. However, in many cases, the title is crafted at the end to ensure it is unique and easily understandable. This task of deciding on a title can often consume a lot of time.、Mm. Summarizing the content into a catchy and concise phrase can be surprisingly challenging. I agree. When you're writing a blog, you start with the title, you know, or you, know, you start writing stuff and then you start adding stuff and you start to remember stuff and you start adding and adding. And it's like, it's an incredibly hard task to summarize what you're writing. And also, you need to make it catchy, you know, so the readers actually click on it. And I feel like I see a lot of nods there in the audience. I feel a lot of people in the audience have the same experience. This is where AI can be extremely helpful.、Mm. With a client set AI Gemini Nano in Chrome, you can generate and refine titles as many times as needed until you are satisfied. Furthermore, AI generated titles can inspire a blogger to improve their content. Even in that case, bloggers can recreate titles as many times as they wish using the client side AI. This entire flow enhances the quality of the blog post. Including both the title and the content. Wow, okay, so it seems like、um, using the client side AI's iterability, it kind of like inspires and, you know, the, the bloggers to actually think about the titles and also the titles that are generated by the AI inspires the bloggers to write more. That is actually a really, really interesting concept. So,、um, a little bit of, about a different topic here, but When you're implementing AI features in an existing website, so that's today's theme, you need to have a coherent UI that links the new AI feature into your existing, AI, your existing feature UI. So, how do you go about it? And what do you think is the best UI that takes the best of、yes. the advantages of the client side AI, like iterability and the flexibility? This is area we've focused on.、Mm. So, it's a topic I really want to talk about. 
We made a lot of prototypes, yes. and we ended up inventing something new. <gasps> what do you think it is? Oh my God, something new. Okay, so I bet it's like a super duper dope, like sophisticated yes. AI that no one has ever seen before. No, 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 it's so much better. It's a time to take a photo and yeah, share oh. it social, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, okay, are you ready? Are you ready? It's this. <laughs> hey, Bodan. A button. Okay, okay, okay. I get that. Um, I'm sorry. What is so unique about a button, though? Cause like you don't go to a website and not see a button every day unless you actually implemented this America's you know Got yeah, Talent red. type of red button on your website. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What if I said I did? <gasps> Jokes aside, <laughs> a, button, a button is fundamental to user interface and it is indispensable when performing any task. Okay. In our prototype, it presents three AI generated title suggestions and lets you create similar title. And we also added three options to make the title more creative, more formal, or to recreate it without any conditions. The key point here is task based buttons. With just a few clicks, users can find a title that closely matches their idea. We believe that simple UI was made possible thanks to the client side AI which provides very fast responses and can be executed as many times as needed. Absolutely. This is really interesting because when you think about the um, integration of the AI features in your existing website, a lot of people actually think about interfaces like chatbots, you know, where users can ask as many questions as they want and however how they phrase it. This may be a great UI for users who knows exactly what they want or users who are, you know, familiar with the prompt engineering, like everybody in the audience here. But it's extremely hard to find the prompt that matches or that executes the results that they want for users who doesn't really know about these. And this task-based buttons could be a really convenient UI for those users from this point of view, because the users don't have to overthink, basically. They just need to click a button and get the results that they want, or if they're not satisfied, the iterability. They can just run it over and over and over again until they get the satisfied results. Yes, I think so. In our user interface, users do not need to write prompts. Mm. And they do not have to worry about what is happening behind the scenes. While it may still be challenging at this point, our ultimate goal is to reach a stage where users do not need to be deeply concerned about whether they are using AI. Mm. This is a challenge we are committed to pursuing in the future. That is interesting, and I absolutely agree. The most important thing that you need to think about when you're creating a website is to provide what the users want, and AI just should be one of the ways, or one of the means to make that happen for the users. So our key point here from today is to how to reduce the friction to use AI and also develop, uh, develop AI for the users and the developers, right? So to summarize our key findings, two things. First of all, learning and understanding what kind of models that you want to use and the advantages of the model and picking one carefully is extremely important. So um, we just focused on today's cyber agent cases is from the client side AI, but there could be other best practices for other models and other use cases. And the second learning is to build a simple, uncomplicated UI is extremely important. And that communicates what the users can actually do with just a glance of it. And the chatbots are not always the solution. Yeah, I agree. I agree. In, in practice, when integrating AI into the product, we strategically utilize various AI models mm. yeah, based on their suitability for the different tasks. Cyber Agent is planning to launch this title generation feature with, with Gemini Nano in Chrome in the near future. Stay tuned for more info. All right, that concludes our lightning talk. So thank you so much, so much for listening and your enthusiasm. Thank, thank you. you.